Good morning, early birds. This is a review I did on Tesla on Saturday during my class, and we're just going to kind of watch it and then watch it and see how it works out today. And that is Tesla. So I'm adding Tesla to the watch list. I want you all to do the same thing, and then when you come back Tuesday night, or you watch the video Tuesday night, you'll see if I was wrong or right or 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 whatever is going on here. But let's look at this stock. We know that Tesla was not added to the S&P, but Etsy was. And I called out Etsy the other day, and we'll talk about Etsy here in a little bit. But So I'm going to clear this up. I want to get all these lines out of here. I want to show you how I find supports and pivot points. And I've got this one pretty well down. We're going to go ahead and delete it. Where are you? Remove drawing set. What chart do I go to first? Let's go to the uh, let's go to the SMA. We had we're going to pull up the yearly daily. We're still bullish, but we got to try to find some supports. There's the 50 day right there. Now this thing is a moving average. It's called the SMA. The title of it is simple. Simple means simple. It's 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 not with the price action kind of. It's more of a trend line, moving average. Simple is simple. That's why I like started with this chart when I first started out. You see how we bounced off that fifty right here. And this has had the split. This is after the split. The stock ran all the way to twenty two hundred when I argued with every bear out there at 250 that this thing was going to go up to a grand so we're going to try to find us some supports on this on this right now we're going to go right in here i don't think it i think 300 is my lowest support on here for right now but we're going to go to the top of the grain and that's here at 336.16 then we've got another one right down right here you see where we've kind of we've kind of hit an equilibrium right in here with these candles we had a little uh, dragonfly candle right here kind of a little hammer right here and we have a spinning top right here so let's go ahead and draw that trend line right in here for a, for a strong support and that's right there at 309.83 and then a low 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 one right there right around the 393 we're going to bring this up here to this 372 you see what happened right in here when we pulled back friday and then we bounced on up and created a hammer right here this is a semi bullish uh, candle right now and you got the body and it's and the stock closes up if it would have closed up here it would have been a very bullish so we're semi bullish i mean this could pull back at opening and then bounce on up. So we're gonna find another uh, support level. See right here at the top of this candle? And the bottom of the base of that candle? That's where we're gonna put the next one. You see where we ended up right here? And I'm not looking at these. I'm looking at history. History repeats itself. And then we got another one, you know, I kinda of wanna find an equilibrium right in here. And I'll put another little trend line right there and another one right here on the bottom of the base of this candle. Right there. And I want to put another one right there and then I want to put the all-time high up here. At 501. And I think it went higher than that. I thought we went up 550 something. Yeah. So I'm going to put a red line right here. Why? This is Facebook. I mean, uh, Tesla. We don't care about the S&P now. I'm still very bullish on it. It'd been nice to be in the S&P. I'm kind of surprised that it didn't get put in the S&P, but there's so many biased traders on Tesla right now because they love General Motors that hasn't moved in over 15 years. They love Ford that hasn't moved over in 15 years. They love uh, all these other car companies that just don't move. Tesla moves. Looking at the 20 days, see if I missed anything. Got one right here. 
Okay, so we know that this area right here is a place of consolidation. So we want to put a trend line right in here at the top of this and look where we pulled back to right there. So this is going to be our first support to hold 385.16. Then we've got the bottom of this. So this is going to be a support channel that we and it can pull back to the bottom of 336.16. Then we've got one more right in here. You see where we start breaking out right in here. So we're going to pull that. We're going to put us a line right in here, right in the middle of there. See that? See how that kind of all just for five hours and just kind of sat there. So that's real strong too. Let's go to the three minute. See if I miss. Go to the one minute. And see if I missed anything. Yeah. See, you can see a lot of things on a one minute chart that a lot of people won't see on a five minute chart. Now, if you look at a five minute chart right here, it's hard to find where the pullbacks was, but there was one right here. We'll go ahead and see, it kind of differentiates right there too. But I'm gonna stick that trend line right there just in case. We'll go back to the one minute. So I usually use the one minute when I'm scalping because I wanna identify the reversals. You know, I wanna look for the reversals that are coming up. And you can see that this thing was reversing here with these, these candles. And that was a very strong position to take, especially if it broke this resistance level right in here, where we had that big engulfing candle. And we pulled right back to it. And once that thing broke that, that would have been my entry. I wouldn't have got in it down here, because this, is, to me, is not a very bullish candle right here. But they insisted on bringing it on up. And once it broke this engulfing candle right here, that's where I would have got in the trade and maybe run it on up or scalp it. I mean, Friday, I mean, that's 377 to 387, that's a $10 bounce. And if you got in the right option, that could be a $150, $200 scalp in a matter of uh, 10, 12, 15 minutes. And once it hit that 50, I'd have been out of it. But I also look at another chart, and I'm going to pull it up, and that's my 200 EMA, and I want to pull this to the one minute. Everything is bolt bearish on this stock. All the moving averages are in reverse. Once they start to cross, right in here, they start to get a little bit bullish. You have the nine crossing over all these other two right here, and then you have a resistance level, which Tesla will easily get to come Tuesday at 394 and hit this 200 EMA on a daily one minute. And write that down on your, just if you're not used to the 50 or the 200 EMA on a daily one minute chart and you want to try to find a support or a resistance level, let me tell you, that sucker right there is probably one of the best moving averages that you could use on a daily one minute, a 200 day EMA. So jot that down, add it to your watch list next week and see if you see a difference. Anytime a stock breaks out real hard, I'm gonna say eight out of 10 times, that will pull back to that 200 EMA. And then you can get a retracement bounce up maybe 50%, 20%. If you're just in a, and it don't matter what ticker you're in. It could be a penny stock, it could be a small cap, or it could be a large tech, or a large cap. So this is what we're gonna do on Tesla. When we come in Tuesday, let's go ahead and pull this back to the 20 day. We've got a strong buy down here at 336. I think it's gonna retrace up and find, find resistance on the 20 day at the 200. You see how the 200 comes into play on the 20 day? It found resistance. It found resistance. 200, I'm telling you, is one of the best moving averages. And the nine, the nine can tell me if it's still bullish or if it turned bearish. As long as it's above that nine EMA, I'm, I'm running it up. Once it pulls back, I'm gonna get out of the trade. You wouldn't have got out of the trade but that news didn't come out about the S&P until after hours, I think. Shit. It just wasn't good news for Tesla, and it sunk. And I'll show you on the daily here. Let 
I don't know if it, I don't think it was in here. I think it was in here when the news came out. No, it came out yesterday morning. No, it didn't. Yeah, I don't give a time. I think it was after hours. And then we had the big pullback, and then she started rebutting. We're starting to build a little cup and handle here. But once we hit that 200 on the daily one minute, and we break that, we can run it up to this next resistance level and maybe even up here to about. Let me see here. Yeah, I think we can break this, this right in here at 394.27. And if we can break that 200, we'll go ahead and go up to the 401. And we've been finding resistance level at right around 405. 406 to 408 and if them can break we can bring it back up here to the double top at 426.76 now there's a lot of bulls a lot of retail traders that are bullish on tesla and then you have a lot of fat cats that are bearish on it and, and retail traders too so you got to kind of play it both ways low support that we want to hold and let's go back to the 20 day 336, if it drops back there, the low, the, I think it'll hold right around here, right around the 372. 355 is going to be second support for a strong buy, and the resistance to break is going to be this 426.76. Let's see if we can get it back up here to around, um, the, at least we're going to get it to the 426. If we can break that, we'll bring it up to this consolidated area right in here where we had these triple top breakout and that's going to be the resistance level at 459 that'll be a hard one to get to but if we do that'll be very good and i'm going to go ahead and turn that into a red line and that's going to be tesla so right down tesla <clears throat> the next one we're going to talk about is going to be work horse and there we go there's my review on tesla for the weekend i wish everybody a good day and we'll see how it works out and I'll do a review again on this tonight, right after the market closes. And also remember, we do have a Twitter link. Always remember to sign up on that. i got to find my, my website here. Well, please subscribe and ring that bell, and we'll catch you tonight. Adios. I love stocks. After the uh, review I did, I said support levels right around the 372. Then we got a 355 and a 337 area with a resistance to break at 426. I love stocks.